new music uh, with another tutorial. Um, today I'm going to show you guys how to screen record audio and the screen at the same time on your Mac. Okay, so right here you can see that I already have my DAW open. Um, whatever you want to screen record and have the audio coming through, you need to have it open first. Okay, next you want to go ahead and you want to download. Um, I use Loopback Audio. The website is messing around. But type in Loopback Audio, right? And click it. They have a free download. I use, I'm using a free download. They give you about 20 minutes. You can go ahead and purchase it if you want. Um, in this case, I chose not to purchase it. It's a very good program though. And uh, 20 minutes is good enough for me. So once you download that, it's gonna open up like this. It's gonna call it loop back, right? Uh, it's gonna look something like this without, without that. Uh, so the next step that you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and look for the source that you want to uh, you want to record. So you're gonna use um, in this case I'm using Pro Tools, so just click on Pro Tools. It's gonna open this. The next thing you wanna do is make sure that you don't have uh, mute when capturing on. You wanna unselect that. Next step is you want to go inside your uh, your sound and you wanna look 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 for a loop back. In this case, I renamed it to uh, screen recording audio so I'm gonna look for screen recording audio and you want to make sure that that is enabled very important so I made sure that screen recording audio is enabled uh, normally my Scarlett would be enabled because that's what I used to record uh, on but in this case it has to be screen recording audio once you have that enabled right you want to make sure uh, you want to use something to record the screen with. In this case, since I'm using Mac, I'm going to go ahead and use QuickTime Player. So once you click QuickTime Player, it's going to come up like this. I want to go to File and want to go to New Screen Recording. In this case, because I'm already using it to record, I can't show you guys exactly what it says. It would have a, a pop-up menu come down here, but make sure that you click on I believe options click on options whatever audio source it is you need to make sure that it's the same audio source as what you clicked up here which in your case it'll probably be loop back so you want to click loop back in my case it's screen recording audio so click options which it will be somewhere down here click options and go to loop back make sure that's enabled and select where you want the video to be saved etc once you do that press record it will give you about five seconds or how many seconds you asked it to give you before it starts recording you know take everything off the screen and it should start recording all right next step uh actually before you even go to quicktime i would recommend going back into your dive it's pro tools ableton uh, fl studio i would recommend creating a new track right audio track and make sure that you uh, select the mic whatever input the mic and click record once you click record you should start seeing audio signals coming through and then go ahead and do the quick time that way you already have the setup or if you want to do it while you're recording you could always do that but I would recommend doing this step before you actually enable quick time once you do that you should start seeing audio signals flowing in once you start speaking. Also, if you want to record, you could do anything normal. You know what I'm saying? It's just capturing the screen, capturing the audio at the same time. So already in this case, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just record something real quick just so that you guys can see. Just go ahead and mute this. Uh, let me go ahead and record. This is just a tester. As you guys can see, I am getting audio coming in. Thank you guys for watching. It's a pleasure. So you guys can see that I had audio coming in. Now I'm gonna play it back and let's see what we get. This is just a tester. 
as you guys can see i am getting audio coming in thank you guys for watching it's a pleasure there you guys go that's pretty much it um it's not a difficult process uh it may be seem a little bit confusing at first um but just remember those steps and then once you're finished make sure that you uh click the pause button up here just click it uh screen will come up and then it's very important to make sure that you go back to your sound preference and go back to your interface that you're using that way you get in once you stop recording you get audio uh coming from your your speakers etc um, thank you guys for watching i hope that this video was very helpful thank you guys once more and if you guys have any questions any more ideas uh please let me know i will be posting a lot more videos to come thank you it's a boy avenue and i'm out